Following the civil unrest after the death of Timothy Thomas, a group of Cincinnati civic leaders asked if Cincinnati can. It turns out we not only could, we did. WCPO 9 News reporter Lucy May looks at the lasting impact of the Cincinnati Community Action Now Commission. Inga says that we have tenacity. <laughs> Dorothy Smoot wasn't living in Cincinnati when the CAN Commission endorsed the Community Police Partnering Center as a key element of police reform. But she's happy it did endorse the program she has run since 2008, along with others. When you take a look at what the CAN Commission learned, which is why they invested in all of these areas, what we, what we learned is that the inequities that existed were contributors to the problems that we had. Cincinnati's Community Action Now Commission hasn't received much attention since it announced its recommendations in 2003, but the leaders of four programs endorsed by the panel say they're still going strong today. This has been a very successful community effort. Darren Redis runs the Minority Business Accelerator for the Cincinnati USA Regional Chamber. Over a billion and a half of aggregate annual, aggregate annual revenues and well over 3,500 jobs, you know, since the inception of this. Success by Six was another Cincinnati CAN initiative. We have to make sure that we continue to be laser focused, that every child in our region has access to quality education. United Way CEO Moira Weir says the program helps families make sure kids are ready to learn when they reach school age. Families are at the core and children do best in thriving families and how do we support families so that they can all thrive. Lee Carter won Cincinnati CAN's endorsement for an after-school art program intended to keep teens from dropping out. 18 years later, Cincinnati Arts and Technology Studios has mentored 5,200 at-risk students, half of whom went on to college. I'll tell you things that they never would tell you if it weren't for the artwork. So the artwork becomes a, a vehicle um, to establish a relationship that is really the secret sauce. Smoot says the Community Police Partnering Center has worked in up to 17 neighborhoods per year to improve police community relations. The work is so important, Cincinnati's Urban League made it a permanent program in 2015. The intent is what we have to keep going. The desire for our city is what we have to keep going. And so I think that's why it's existed, because there have always been people who Keep championing the cause. Lucy May, WCPO 9 News.